Hello everyone, and welcome to my sort of playthrough series, not really a proper playthrough though, of Kerbal Space Program. I wanted to start recording this again because, well basically I wanted to get back into this game. I played a lot of this game when it first came out, it was a whole lot of fun. And I kind of lost interest in it after a while when... Back in, the day, back in the day when the only other place you could go to was the moon, or moon, or however you, they pronounce it in this whole Kerbal universe. I, well, yeah, I, I just kind of got bored with just going to the moon and back, and kind of fell out of the game a bit, but still kept track of how they were progressing with the game. And all the recent changes have really made me excited again for it. I know that this uh, one, this point one eight patch has been out for a bit now, which brings in docking, which just amazes me. I really can't wait to start building space stations. But <laughs> as I said, I have not played this game in a very, very long time, so I'm pretty much going to be learning from scratch here. As from what I've heard, there's a whole lot of new modules and all sorts of new crazy things you can put onto your ships. So yeah, we're gonna go into the game now and try and get back into it. Hopefully not end up like this. That is a cool menu. I That was not like that last time I played, which again was a while ago. Now I did make a quick save game here, basically just to go in and test graphics properties so that I know that it's fine for the recording. Though I gotta go back here real quick, apparently there's training and scenarios now? Whoa, that's... Huh. That's cool. I wonder if you can download, like, community-made ones. I actually haven't seen anything about the scenarios. I guess I wasn't paying as close attention to the changes as I thought. And so there's training too, construction basics, flight, orbiting, to the moon! Ah, what's the fun in that? The best part about Kerbal Space Program, or in my case, Kotobo Space Program. Gotta love how the whole KSP thing worked out there. One of the most fun parts about it is the trial and error, thankfully. Uh, this is still kind of a sandbox game. I know they eventually want to add like a career mode sort of thing where you actually have to build up resources. Uh, and I guess then, you know, you'll want to make <laughs> your rockets not crash all the time. But for now, the fun in Kerbal Space Program, uh, well, at least a nice chunk of it, is building crazy things and, well, seeing if you can fly it. Most likely not, and then watching the explosions. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, and oh, there's all sorts of new cockpits to choose from here. I got la Lander Can, that's kind of cool. Looks like Stay Put Nick Mark too. That's uh, that's nice. Oh, uh, cool. So there's unmanned things. That I like that. That and yeah, that's pretty good. nice. You know what? Let's uh, put it all on the line here. Use a Mark One. So if we do end up killing a Kerbal, we only lose one guy. <laughs> Let's just try and get something out into space. And whoa, there are all sorts of new fuel tanks and engines here. This is, whew, this is definitely going to be a learning process. <laughs> and little engines. RCS fuel. That's a, whoa, that's for a big rocket. Okay, let's just delete that. Mono propellant tank? Oh, geez, there's there's a lot of new things. <laughs> oh, and can you, like, add additional? Oh, my God. that That's cool. Yeah, see, last time I played the game, you could only have one module, but I guess now you can have all sorts, so... You could add in like a lander and things like that. That's oh, uh, you could build like a multi-stage ship with unmanned things. Oh yes, this is this is gonna be fun. And there's science stuff. Does this? Does this? I wonder if this stuff actually works in game or if these are just kind of there for now, just for the fun of it. Either way, though, that is cool. 
Utility. Battery. Oh, that. That worries me slightly. That means that... Oh, yes, I do remember reading that there's all sorts of new resources, so your ship has to have power for long voyages and things like that. That is... Ooh, man. <laughs> all right, let's, let's put a... First things first, not that big of a parachute. Let's just get a parachute on this thing. The good old classic one there. We don't want our uh, kerbals to just kind of smash into the ground. Xenon container. Oh god, I do really have a lot to relearn about this game. We got solar panels here. Lights. Oh, that's, that's cool. The landers. That's nice. Structural, good old things. Looks like there's new decouplers. Oh, the connectors for space stations. Yeah, I definitely, once I am back into the swing of things in Kerbal Space Program, I definitely cannot wait to try and build a space station. It's probably going to be a miser miserable, miserable failure at first. But, you know, I, I'm really looking forward to it. That was one thing that I really wanted back in the day, but was just never able to get then, because, well, it, they just hadn't finished it yet. Large. Oh, that's cool. So they made the SAS modules a lot smaller than they used to be. That's nice. I, I'm happy about that. They always seemed kind of unusually large to me. Hmm. Oscar B fuel tank. What's that? Ooh. All right, that looks the right size, though. Let's not use that quite yet. Hmm, what should we do here? Well, I need a decoupler. Let's see, that looks like the standard old-school decoupler. Excellent. There we go, so we can break away and save the... I always like to save the SAS module. I know it doesn't matter in this part of the game, and... But what I'm kind of assuming that once they do the whole career mode, perhaps being able to bring back as much equipment as possible will actually matter, but I I just like to do it. <laughs> There's no real reason, but, you know, it's uh, it makes me feel better about myself, that I'm not polluting everywhere. Because, <laughs> you know, that really matters in the game. <laughs> Alright, let's just add another one of these. What is actually the description for that? A stretched variant of the FLT-400. Uh, holds twice the fuel, slightly stronger, black stripes along the side make the rocket go faster. That's that's wonderful. I, I always did love the descriptions on these things. Let's see, we've got... What in the world is that? Sep Separatron? Oh, that's cool. That was one thing I did always have a problem with, is if my ship started to angle away and I couldn't save it, and a s sequence separation ended up colliding in with one another, so that's awesome. So you can actually add those on to help push away the old section of the ship that you're no longer using. Couldn't get the words out there. I don't know why. But yeah, there we go. Let's see. What do we have here? Uh, that should do. Just kind of building a random rocket for now. Just to get things going. Let's raise that up a little more. I know that it's kind of meaningless, but I I like it. I like it to be off the ground. What in the world is this? Liquid fuel engine... Da, da, da. This, this is an engine for ants. Okay. What? Oh my god, yeah. What in the world? That is tiny. Huh. Ooh, not so tiny. Oh, that's a big one. Ooh, that's nice too. That is also small. That must be for, like, satellites or something. Or, well, I, I guess you could use it for all sorts of things. <laughs> Alright, let's... Do, 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 aerodynamics. I always like having fins. I know that, you know, if you have vectoring thrust engines, you may not need them. Which is this vectoring, or is it not? Da, 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 let's see. 
Crossfeed capable designers. I think it is. I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not seeing anything on here that says vectoring in, unless I'm. I'm just blind, which hey, is a good possibility. But you know what? I still like fins. I, I don't know why, but a rocket with fins just. It just makes me happy. <laughs> All right, let's. What's this? Uh, da -da -da. Built for built-in aileron. Mm. Let's go with that. Oh, where's the symmetry thing? There we go. Oh, which man? What are these now? Center of thrust. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Let's turn that off. That didn't seem to do anything. Maybe if I oh yeah, actually add things to it, it won't. <laughs> yeah, let's do the ankle snap. Bam! Oh, I like that. That's good. Center of mass is there. Okay, now this thing definitely won't get into space. So just just for fun, let's uh add some solid rocket boosters to this thing. Where are those decouplers? Ooh, those are those are much bigger than they used to be. Hmm. Is there the old school one, or does those no do those no longer exist? We have those. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's just use these. I think it should be fun. Let's uh just kinda plop that there. And let's see what kind of solid rocket boosters we have now in this game. Because these were all that existed last time I played, which that's just that's just not enough. And it does look like there is a bigger one. Alright, look at that. That is a big boy right there. Why aren't you hey, come on, go, go on. You like the symmetry, don't you? There we go. Whoop. Is that symmetrical? It is! Or at least close enough for me. So, <laughs> this is probably going to be tremendously unstable. But... You know, it's, oh, I've seen these on some videos that you can use them to hold your ship in place on the launch pad. That was something I had trouble with back in the day. I had, uh, I had a good few ships fall over before I was even able to ever launch them. Oh, <laughs> uh, these are cool. We got all sorts of new structural things. Let's just stick with good old fashioned struts. Whoop, and there we go. Uh, hmm. I probably need more, but. <laughs> Let, this is good for now. Let's just see how this goes. Uh, let's just call it Kotobos mm, X1, since you know it is an experimental aircraft here. <laughs> let's save that, even though I have a feeling this is going to be a miserable, a miserable disaster. But you know what? Let's add just a random bit of scientific equipment onto it just for laughs. I don't need that to be symmetrical. It's just, uh, ooh, that's too many. Let's just plop that on right there. <laughs> Completely useless, but you know what? They'll know what the temperature is. <laughs> oh, this is... Whoop, that's not the right button. That's not what I meant to press at all. <laughs> I meant to hit that. Oh yes, I forgot the yep that I had that uh, other up there the Kerbal X pre-made real quick. Okay, oof. Oh yeah, I didn't actually check the staging. Hopefully, it's all fine. It looks fine. All right, now I do have an SAS module, and I remember that being T. I don't have RCS, but that is R, trying to re-familiarize myself with the controls. What in the world are all these? Oh, oh, so you can turn on and off lights, gears, brakes. Oh, brakes is a good thing to remember. Oh, oh so it's different controls for docking, orbit. That's cool. 
I guess these are our resources. That's nice, that's nice. Let's just keep that up. I'd like to see how that goes. And Jebediah, I remember you, old friend. <laughs> Hopefully you survive. I would hate to have killed you off in our first real launch. Oh, man. Okay, so are these going to release when I hit space, I guess, then? That's what'll happen? Well, <laughs> let's find out. And lift off, and ooh, those, those solid rocket boosters have some kick to them. Okay. All right, Jebediah, he's looking happy in there. Just how I remember him from back in, back, back in the day. Man, it really has been a long time since I played this game. Like I said, all that you had to explore back then was the moon. That was it. You, there weren't all these other planets that there are now which I cannot wait to go and attempt to explore. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to go. I mean, I only ever really landed on the moon just really only a couple of times. I never spent a whole lot of time there. I did land several missions at the moon arch, so I do have that under my belt. I'm trying to remember where in the world that was now, <laughs> so that I can, you know, find it again uh, once we are back out in space exploring properly and going to other celestial bodies. Oh, and that's cool. I, I, I did read that they added in a warping for while you are in atmosphere. That was always something that was annoying when you had a big launch. This, this one's going quite nicely. Let's let's just kind of uh, tilt it a little bit down. Probably not the smartest move on my part, as I'm really not remembering everything here. But let's let's lock you in. I do like those fins. They're they're cool. And oh hey, there's our old friend. That's that's nice. And that I like the heat effects on the engine. Is definitely cool. Let's hmm. Let's actually cut the engine. So I think I might be able to get us into an orbit from there. I mean that's uh 135 kilometers up. And I'm guessing perhaps I could uh, get an orbit from this. Probably should have started turning a bit more. Ooh, what's that? Add maneuver. Oh, oh, yeah, I have not played with this yet. Of course, it didn't exist back then. What do all these mean? Let's just randomly, uh, whoa, holy crap. Let's, let's take that back. Let's, can I, whoop, that's not what I wanted. Can I cancel that? Hmm, maybe if we go out of the map. Oh, that's still there. Let's, so oh, bring that back. No, I don't... I don't want that either. Hmm, actually, maybe... Nope, go away. Maybe that would... Oh, God, and I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. Ah, uh, whoa, hey, there we go. Still no idea what I'm doing. You know what? You know what? Let's let's just do this old school. To heck with the, this thing, though. I still have no idea how to get rid of. Oh, hey, there we go. That get that gets rid of it. Let's bring this up and let's see if I can roll myself around. I really should have put some RCS on this thing. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, I need to angle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Angle myself at that point right there. Let's see if I can get it. Let's lock myself in. And I believe, again, if I'm remembering this correctly, if I burn. Once I reach the apoapsis, that I should 
start to circularize my orbit. Again, if I'm remembering this correctly, which I'm probably not. But let's let's give it a go. Oh god, no, 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 no. All right, so yeah, it's the other way I need to be going. <laughs> like I said, a long time, long time since I've done this. Let's just flip ourselves around. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's go back over. Close enough for me. Burn, burn, you fool. All right, that seems to be going. Ooh, I don't have a whole lot of fuel left. So, we're not going to be able to get an orbit on this first go. <laughs> uh, it was a valiant effort. Oh, I'm coming in like a lawn dart. <laughs> oh, look at Jebediah. He's so happy. Okay. You know, I would go do an IVA, but I clicked that earlier, and I cannot, for the life of me, remember how to exit an IVA. And I really don't want to do an EVA, because he would probably fly out of the ship. <laughs> All right. Perhaps I shouldn't be doing this like a lawn dart here. Let's, let's flip ourselves around. Again, I know that they don't have heat effects on re-entry into the game, though I did see the developer blog that they are going to be adding that in soon, and their pictures for it looked really amazing. I really can't wait for that. That will be just a whole new level of things, and hopefully it, from the picture, it looked like re-entry actually affects the ship coming in, that if you don't do it right, it's going to just tear apart. At least that's what it looked like from the picture of, I believe it was a satellite, or not a satellite, a space station that they had re-entering, and it was just pieces everywhere and flame. It looked really cool. And so I, I cannot wait for that. That should add a whole new fun part, and a bit closer to it actually mattering for me to bring back things. <laughs> like I said, pointless for now, but hey, you know, good times. It's like we're going to be coming into these, uh, well, not really mountains, but foothills. Yeah, I did not go very far. <laughs> what a wonderful attempt. I went from there to here. Congratulations. It was a very expensive interstate travel. <laughs> Uh, still, it's fun. I, I've really missed this game. I'm just launching this first tremendously unsuccessful rocket has just brought back all the wonderful memories of when I used to play this game. And I am very, very glad that they have all sorts of new stuff to do. And that, that like I said, that's what kind of got me bored with it back in the day. There just wasn't enough to do. I had fun. But you can only go to the moon so many times before it just kind of gets a little blasé. But now there's planets with multiple moons to go explore, build space stations around. There's cool new lander parts. Yeah, I'm I'm excited and cannot wait to get back into things properly and actually do it right. <laughs> this was a horribly unsuccessful mission. But <laughs> it was fun at, well, it, let me rephrase, it was at least fun for me. Hopefully it was fun for you guys. Probably not, though. Let's, let's do the IVA. Oh, this is a, this is a cool pod. Whoop. Turn to open. I got some tanks here. Got my feet, my hands. Nice controls, I like that. They've all got a good look to them. I think I'm on the ground. Yeah, I'm on the ground. <laughs> okay. Can I look out this window? Oh, I can. Am, oh, am I upside down? <laughs> all right. Okay, let's... Yeah, like I said, I don't... I don't remember how to 
I don't know how to get out. <laughs> if I do, no, that didn't work. Docking, whoa, hello. Oh, that's all the cool new docking things. I am so going to destroy a space station when I first try to do this. <laughs> it's going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, well, I don't remember how to uh, get out of the IVA. So, we're just going to... We're just going to end this flight. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's look at this. It was a nine-minute flight. Highest altitude, 135 kilometers. I know it says 135,000 meters, but I'm a man of science. Put it to kilometers. I mean, why, why, why bother, bother with that at all? Okay, highest speed achieved. That was good. Land, land, nice, nice. Ground distance. <laughs> Wow, I I went 86 kilometers by ground. That's 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 kind of that's kind of sad. <laughs> but hey, I traveled a total distance that that's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go to the vehicle assembly building. <laughs> okay, so this can get us quite far up into space and it probably could have gotten us into an orbit if I would have done it correctly what in the world is all this oh oh, oh god that's all strange and new hmm okay I'll find out what that is all about later uh, for now, though, you know, I, I'm happy with this initial rocket. Jebediah didn't die, so <laughs> that's always a plus. And we were able to return with the thermometer. So <laughs> we got some good heat readings, guys. The thermometer survived. We now know how hot reentry is. So <laughs> uh, yeah, they definitely don't seem to do anything for now, but they amuse me, and make me laugh. I want to just cover this thing in science bits. <laughs> oh, nice. The communitron. Mm. Long range, high speed communication. Woo, hello. Oh, uh, so I bet it opens out like an umbrella. Or, you know, a satellite dish. <laughs> yes, an umbrella. We've got another communitron here that just seems to be an antennae. Accelerometer, nice, nice. Can't we just, you know, hook my Android phone up to the side of the ship? That would work, right? Let's do it. Hook it up. Let's go barometer too, just for fun. <laughs> Science. Okay. Kodobos <laughs> X1, I am deeming a success. Even though it, you know, kind of wasn't. <laughs> we got into space. We didn't orbit, but we got into space. <laughs> I, you know what? Let's make a few little changes to this and try again here. I want to add some RCS onto this thing so that perhaps, you know, do some maneuvering up there in the majesty of space. Let's see, where are the little RCS engines? Is that what these are? No, they actually seem to be the normal engines. Was it over on this page and I just completely missed it? Bet it was. Probably is. What is that? Rocco Max. Let's see, the tiny engine, but very useful. Uh, da, 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 da. Radial engines won't fit. You may need more of these to lift larger payloads. Whoa, yes, you would. <laughs> Got some sort of radial fuel tank. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Ooh, an atomic rocket motor. That's. Oh, that's cool. Okay, there we go. That's our new engine. <laughs> okay, seriously, where? Where are the little RCS engines? I don't remember what they look like, and they probably have changed anyways nowadays. Uh, okay. Alright. No, I don't... No, that doesn't look like it. Huh. 
I'm probably just blind and not seeing it. Let's look at... Oh, it's under control. Pfft, okay. <laughs> that seems a bit strange to me that it'd be there, but hey, you know, I'm not going to complain. We found them. But still, it's kind of strange. You'd think it'd be under propulsion. Let's stick it right there. Do I want to bring those back too, or ditch it with the rest of the ship? You know what? Yeah, let's ditch it with the rest of the ship. Oop. There we go. Pop that down. Bam. Let's lower it. I don't like it being that high. <laughs> Again, I don't think that actually matters at all, but still. And hey, let's stick some more science onto this thing. You can never go wrong with a lot of science. Oh, nope, don't need you to be going around like that. Do heck with symmetry mode. Let's pop you under the thermometer. And let's add a little antennae. And bam. There we go. I'm liking all the science. It's a lot of good science right there. <laughs> all right. Let's... Let's try this again and see what this baby can do. We're going to keep the name the same, though, because, well, I only added basically RCS thrust and additional science. Because, like I said, you can never go with too much science. <laughs> All right. Kind of a stubby little rocket compared to the launch pad. <laughs> so, let us... Burst forth into the heavens. It appears that I have Jebediah again. I kind of want to do this from IVA, but again, I'm not remembering how to get out. I, you know, I could check the controls real quick, but... <laughs> you know, that's... That would be the smart thing to do. I really like all these science modules on here. That... That makes me happy. I'm definitely going to have to build some cool unmanned probes to go off to other worlds, just chock full of science-y bits. Alright, let's, let's go out here. Oh, the world looks a whole lot more beautiful than it used to. A lot more higher resolution, and I don't remember there ever being a desert. I thought, could have sworn back in the day the whole world was just green. Ooh, what? Oh, yes, yes, paying attention would help. <laughs> I, I suddenly heard no sound, I, I was I was a little worried. <laughs> it was... Don't worry, guys, it was just my incompetence. <laughs> oh, man, it is a beautiful world, though. They did a really nice job on this. And, oh, I've got the cool sort of atmospheric effects. Oh, that's nice. That puts a nice touch to it. Let's angle ourselves a bit. bit more. A little bit more. Okay, a lot more. And there we go. SAS. Again, probably a horrible launch trajectory. <laughs> you know what? I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Let's see. And I am going to cut off at around 100,000. There we go. I want to make sure I have plenty of fuel for... Ooh. It's getting smaller. Maybe I do have to go higher. Hmm. Or is it... Oh, no. It's not, just, it's not getting smaller. I'm just not paying attention and my craft is moving. All right, again, I want to try and do this manually. It's probably going to be a miserable fail. Whoa, God. Oh, God, I hit Q rather than W. Okay, okay, let's... Let's try and roll ourselves back around here. Okay, there we go. Math ball was going all wonky there. Let's send... A lock on. Turn on the RCS to help keep us stable. 
uh, just kind of keeps on going, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's turn you off. <laughs> Don't want to waste all my RCS quite yet. We're kind of going off kilter again. Alright, and... SAS. I probably could have gone with going a little bit further, but hey. That's what we're going to go with for now. <laughs> I like the music that's going to this. Very relaxing. That may be a bit too relaxing, though. With my luck, it's going to put me to sleep after playing it for a long time. Alright, let's get ourselves back on the ball here. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. We are locked in and almost to the point that I want to burn, at least the, the point at which I think I want to burn. And let's do it! Okay, yep. I'm getting getting a wider trajectory here. Hopefully I don't waste too much fuel and don't have enough to actually de-orbit. what I'm kind of thinking is going to happen to me. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's go a little bit more. A little bit more. You can do it. I'm going to end up with absolutely no fuel left to <laughs> get back at this rate. Oh, and I, I really don't want to uh, get Jebediah stuck. So we are going to... Well, let's at least have him land in ocean. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so again, we couldn't get into an orbit. Maybe I need uh, a little more engine power to get a bit higher. Or I could probably just do with a better launch trajectory. But hey, you know what? I'm happy with this for now. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. It is a learning process. Let's uh, warp this ahead a bit. Whoa. Okay. There we go. Jebediah, how you doing? Aw, oh, look at him, he's so happy. We're collecting lots of good science, so... It's definitely good. And the antenna is actually facing the planet, so we're getting a good communication, you know, since we have no satellites to relay the communication. We'll have to build those. You know, I'm probably going to, going to do that before I do space stations and... Just build a couple of satellites just for the hell of it, and I think that would be fun. Put up a little communication network, even though it doesn't actually matter. It, you know, I I like doing that sort of things. I'm I'm always been a big fan of RPing the games that you play, and yeah, I think it would be cool to put up a nice little network of communication satellites. Got some nice science equipment too. We can make some uh, weather satellites. I don't know, you know. You know, barometer's not that great outside of the atmosphere, but hey! Whoa! Whoa, toggle! Ooh, can... Oh, 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 oh my god! It extends! <laughs> oh, what does this thing do? If I toggle it. Nothing. What about you? Whoa. Okay, nothing. And you? It seems to be recording, which that's cool. I like that the antenna actually came out. So yeah, that's awesome. It is actually picking up data. I don't know if it actually does anything with it, but that, that just makes it all the cooler for me. Yeah, I think every rocket I send up is going to have these things. Again, even though it kind of seems pointless for now. But look at it, it's actually doing something. That, that's just wonderful. And I like that the antenna, oh, can I not retract the antenna? Hmm. Well, antenna, you're not gonna do too well re-entering the atmosphere, my friend. Well, we should probably let go of the lower half of our ship now. Whoop, oh, oh God. 
Oh god, what happened? <laughs> Alright, Jebediah, he's still happy in there. He's not freaking out. You gotta love that guy. Let's, uh, ooh, okay, oh god. We're, we're going all over the place here. Oh man, I'm glad they don't have the heat effect stuff yet. <laughs> oh, oh man, look at how fast the thing's going. It's just zooming right past us. Alright, we're still heading to the ocean. That's good, though it seems to be getting closer to land. Oh, I really wanted him to land in the water. We may be landing just off the coast, Jebediah. You can uh, build yourself a nice little sand castle. Alright, we've got these things recording. I want to kind of watch the thermometer as we go. Hmm. Oh, no, it is. Temperature is rising. That is uh, that is cool. I'm, I'm glad I clicked on those things. That makes me happy. I should probably, you know, release my parachute to start slowing me down a bit. Alright, so we're returning with science equipment and our SAS. So I can't retract this thing? Huh. Okay. So yeah, I bet that uh, other Unitron actually opens up into a dish. That'd be definitely be cool for my plans for a satellite network. Oh, so, oh, so I guess these are for the docking things. You can control from one of them. Oh, I can rename the vessel. That's that's cool. So that's the electrical charge. What we got there too. State operational. That's that's always a good thing. <laughs> Parachute. Oh, cut parachute. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, we're doing good. Crew hatch. All right. The parachute has deployed. Now it is time to float gingerly down to the surface. And we got the communications active, so we'll be able to tell command and control that, yes, we are indeed here. Come and pick us up, please. It may take you a while to drive all the way down here, and we did actually go quite far this time. I wonder how far I can zoom out. Okay, so we got the moon there. Min miss. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the solar system. That is, That is just wonderful. I cannot wait to explore all of these. I'm probably going to have a hard time doing it, though. <laughs> I mean, come on. We've seen my control capabilities so far. It, it didn't go so well. <laughs> All right, we almost have touchdown. Just a little bit more to go. Should have put some lights on here, too, if for no particular reason. <laughs> Oh, I'm just loading all sorts of useless crap on here. Works. We've landed. The Kerman has landed. Let's get him out. Ooh, hey, like, okay, well. There we go. Hey there, Jebediah. How you doing, buddy? Let's go over here, check the science equipment. Alright. Everything looks good. Good for science. Oh, can I click on them from out here? Uh, apparently not. Oh, I wanted to see the readings. Alright, well, let's zoom out here a little bit. So, yes. I say that this has been a good inaugural episode of Kotobo Space Program here. We didn't do an orbit, but... <laughs> We built a rocket, relearned the controls a bit. I'm happy about that. We discovered science <laughs> and communication, always important. And that Jebediah, just as I remember, is a badass. We gotta love this guy. He is wonderful. So yes, that'll be it for now. I had fun. Hope you guys did too. Can't wait for next time I play this. You know, I, I'm really looking forward to getting back into this game with everything that it has. And I am I hope you all come along for the ride of me relearning this game and hopefully loving it 
and hopefully even more cool things to come in the game soon from what the dev blog was saying. So yes, I will see you all next time. Have a good one.